Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Well, unfortunately, um, I seem to have a uh, respiratory infection or some sort of uh, problem with a couple of snakes. Uh, the male Rutu is blowing bubbles, the female is listless. Uh, since they're in the same cage, I can only assume that there's, uh, both of them have the same issue. Uh, Pogo Stick has got all sorts of secretions, uh, around her mouth, and mouth a little bit parted, uh, uh, as well as, uh, a problem with the Tori, uh, seems to be doing okay right now, but, uh, I am watching her carefully. So we have to culture uh, and see uh, what's going on with the Arutus uh, since the male is the one that's showing some serious symptoms like blowing bubbles and stuff. I'm going to culture him uh, because if he's got something, the female will need to be treated the same. Um, we will presumptively start. Uh, treatment with an antibiotic after discussions with the vet uh, just to get things going and when it, you know later on in the week when the culture and sensitivity comes back uh, we can either say yeah this will do the trick or we need to change the antibiotic but regardless uh, presumptively we can start with uh, a broad spectrum antibiotic and, and work there and uh, which means lots of fun and danger for me because, first of all, I have to culture the male, and that means wrapping my fingers around his little neck and then sticking something into his mouth, uh, which he's not going to like. And he'll like the injection that I'll have to give him and, and the female later. Uh, so uh, these are things that uh, most venomous keepers, you know, don't realize that you know, you can't live in trap boxes and stuff like that. You have to be able to actually skillfully handle these animals, uh, you know, safely for their safety as well as your own. Uh, you know, people say, well, you know, I could just have trap boxes here and there. And yeah, okay, I mean, that, uh, uh, that does uh, alleviate most of the danger. But what you're doing is... Uh, you're not allowing the snake to get used to you handling it, and you're not getting used to the snake handling it. You're relying on a, a, a technological uh, thing um, that may turn around and literally bite you in the end. That's why even at zoos, uh, zookeepers, you know, do the same thing. Oh, we, we trap the king cobra, we'll trap the, the thing. You know, well, when they need to, to treat an animal... A lot of times they, uh, they'll get it in the trap box and it'll anesthetize it. The worst thing you can do in the world, in my opinion, is anesthetize an animal with a, uh, a, a respiratory infection because you're putting this agent into their lungs and you're causing inflammation and irritation and stuff and you're complicating the matter. Um, you know, if, if you're scheduled for surgery in the hospital and you come down with a cold or a respiratory infection, they're not going to operate on you unless it's already life-threatening. So why should you do that with the animals? But again, that's just my opinion and the way I do things. So what we're going to do first so we can get the correct dose is we're going to weigh the container that uh, we're going to put the animals in. And that's uh, 0.658 kilograms or 658 grams for you uh, non-metric people. Uh, but uh, we're going to write this down because what we're going to do is we know the weight of the box, put the snake inside the box, and then we know what the weight of the snake is by subtracting the total weight uh, from the way to the box and we come up with uh, uh, how much uh, each will weigh. 
So, okay. Time for real fun and games. You don't look terribly excited there, girly, huh? Hey, bud. Come on. Yeah, I know I'm bothering you. And you know that's generally a bad idea because this, like the other Bothrops, I normally do not handle them unless I really have to. Arutus uh, carry a serious bite that will and does kill and has uh, been a uh, fatality here in the U.S. Um, it's not a snake to be uh, trifled with. Okay, it <laughs> weighs about as much as the box. Um, 0.664 kilograms. And can my camera lady record that? Because uh, my hands are now dirty under root 2 mail. 0 0.664. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm going to put a pop them up on the table to uh, to restrain him and uh, uh, take my uh, sample. Hopefully I don't sample anything else of his. Come on, bud. Nope, 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 nope. Don't do that. Come on. Nope, nope. Hello. Hi, I'm sorry. Okay, now you can open that. Tickle your tonsils? Okay, grab the, uh, the vial. It's, you can handle it any place. Pop the cap. Just pull the white cap out. Okay, now. Push that down, and it's done. <laughs> yes, I know your tongue is searching to bite me. Ooh. Come on, dude. Cooperate. You are not cooperating. Come on, girly. We're just going to get a weight on you. Flattening. Oh, yes, I'm sorry to disturb you. Weighing in as the heavyweight. Uh, 2.21 kilograms. Okay, now where is that bad boy's head? He's back there, sort of. Out of the way. Sorry, dude. Wait till later and I have to stick you with a needle. Oh, boy. You too. Huh?
Yes, yes, yes. Now, please don't be as uncooperative as the male. Come on, girlie. Come on. No, don't go over by him. He's already pissed off. He might bite you. Oops. Slide the glass over, please. It's so nice to have an assistant as Mrs. Viper Keeper. Okay, there you go. Stay away from the boy. So what do you do? You have to go right over there, don't you? Jesus. Okay, so now we have our data, we have the culture, uh, I'm going to take a run up the, up the street to the vets now, drop that off, uh, get a quick discussion with her if possible, uh, and come back and treat. Alright, we have antibiotics uh, all the way around the house. Uh, because of mm, respiratory infections, you know, I am not sure. Okay. Get out of there. That's the problem with using the very fine tuberculin syringe that causes the least injury to the snake. Uh, sure that everybody's nicely attached. I did get the air bubble out. 0.23. So here's 0 0.5, 0 0.4. Close enough. Okay, this is prescribed by my veterinarian, the official Viper Keeper veterinarian, Dr. Uh, Lisa Evans. Um, now, there's always a problem when you're giving antibiotics to your venomous snakes is A, they're venomous to begin with and will bite the snot out of you uh, on a good day. When you're starting to stick them with pins and injecting, you know, stuff that stings and burns, they're really, really not happy with you. Plus, having to pull them out of their cage and do all this to them and then get them back in their cage without getting bit, I'm always on fang watch. Uh, there's always uh, shed fangs here, there, and everywhere. Oh, you stop it, you toad. She thinks that every time I come in the room, there's got to be a rat in it for her. <laughs> um, but meanwhile, Pogo, <laughs> one of the, the more dangerous uh, creatures in the room, um, and, you know, the Bothrop seemed to be quite susceptible to this, is in her cage, and uh, I, I don't know if the video will air by the time you see this one, because I don't necessarily do things in sequence, uh, but she gave uh, me a uh, really good uh, run for it, and Mrs. Viper Keeper, um, the other day when I just tried to get her weight for an accurate dose, um, no less pull her out again and inject her. So we're going to try something that we've successfully done with George and Aturi, uh, who's sitting back there. Um, and, uh, yeah. Nothing to eat, you toad. I see you eyeballing me. <laughs> um, so what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to inject the pogo stick with venom with a little bit of uh, uh, big pharma's venom here, uh, a broad spectrum antibiotic. 
Now, normally we don't give antibiotic here indiscriminately, uh, simply because that's the best way to create uh, antibiotic resistant bacteria and that's what's done all around the world. You can get this stuff over the counter, people don't take it or uh, they just you know occasionally take it and they build resistant an uh, organisms. So just to make sure that we have the right antibiotic for the right organisms uh, I spent the money and had a culture and sensitivity done where they'll culture the organisms and tell us exactly what antibiotics work best for that particular organism and which is we can also decide well is this a safe one to give to reptiles or not so this is something that Dr. Evans and I work out uh, um, so rather than pull her out I am going to try to stick her and then quickly push the plunger all without getting bit and not uh, getting the, uh, the drug into her now, she generally is quite, uh, uh, quite interested when I enter the cage, no less sticker. Now, these are supposed to be intramuscular, and this is not going to work as good as it did with the rhinovirus. It's supposed to give it in the upper third of the body, and I see this is not going to go easy. Now, one does not poke a bothrops when they're pointed at you. <laughs> and she's turned around and facing me directly on. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to get a tube. We're going to have to tube her and restrain her and give her an injection that way. Because, uh, you know, it was one thing to poke her in the other direction, but I am not going face to face with her and poke her while this very nice warm hand is right there. Um, so we're going to do a reset and, uh, and, and do something different with her because uh, there's no way around uh, uh, those pointy fangs that she has uh, because she'll be doing the one uh, giving the injection and I don't want to be the recipient, neither does Mrs. Viper Keeper. Mm -hmm. A matter of fact, I would get in the way and take the bite rather than Mrs. Viper Keeper because uh, uh, these are my animals. I can get bit, nobody else can. That's the law at the lair. Well, here I have a male, larger male, Bothrops, the father of all the baby Bothrops, who is presently very unhappy with me. I know, I know. And, uh, you know, I'm going to stick them, which is going to make them even less happy. Yes, yes, yes. I know I bothered the girl. See, it's, it's seldom the problem picking the snake up. It's getting rid of it safely. That can be the real issue. Yeah, I know. You should be pissed. Get in there and don't bother the girl. Okay. Yes. Oh, and she gets uh, point four four. And to me on these syringes, there's a little bit of air in, 0.44 is as good as 0.45. Now, here's the, uh, here's the question of the day. Why, is it Why do you have to have a sterile needle to give an injection of antibiotic? Uh, wouldn't it kill any bacteria that came in with it? 
Well, think about that. That's just something to think about. I mean, uh, I have no reason not to try to observe sterile rules and stuff. It's just one of those questions that needs to be asked. Okay. And guess what? We have to repeat this every three to five days for, for several days. Ah, you have a shed, but you're not really shedding. Huh? I knew you were due to shed, but it was like... Uh, lethal stink. This is as lethal as anything else in the snake room. It's too bad she got a bit dried out because she has some very beautiful sheddings. But, you know, I'm here for a reason, and uh, that, that reason is to give you an injection. All right, stay clear. Not to, uh, not to explore your, uh, your unsheddedness. Tell she's not feeling well. I survived this. <laughs> Don't. Ah, she got away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. Nope. Gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. Damn it. <clears throat> Yeah, I know I stuck it. Sorry. <laughs> let me uh, let me try to get a tube and dry her that way. Okay. Preparing for battle, isn't she? Yes, she is. She knows something's up. These are not dumb animals. Not in the least. Yeah, she's not turning her back on you this time. <laughs> yeah, when you turn around, he pokes you. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Viper Keeper knows that really well. Oh, I can attest to that, yes. Come on. Come on. I want you to shoot down the tube. No, of, of course. course not. Um, wash off that uh, hook for a second. That's okay. I'll, I'll watch her and I'll let you know if she's making a break for it. No, I'm watching the camera. Oh, okay. All right, well. Okay. Come on. Bothrop's, uh, I mean, it is not impossible for her to shoot out of the cage like the missile that she is. Come on, come on, I know, I know, I know. Come on. Yes, hello. No, you don't want anything to do with me, do you? Come on. Come on. I know, I know. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, off at the other side. Oh, God, look at her go. She yeah. is really upset. Yeah, she's, uh, she's 
got a launch code. Next to Bothrop's Asper, uh, this is the one of what I consider to be one of the more dangerous uh, Bothrops. Her parents uh, came from Trinidad. Hello! Gotta love those people from Vision making. Uh, Making snake bites possible for all <laughs> venomous keepers. That's the highway to hell, that's for certain. Come on. Come on. I know, I know. I've, you know how? I've had this snake since it was a baby. It's like eight or nine years old now. Uh, to that one, I'm sorry. 2005. It's a Katrina baby. Um, eight years old and she's probably been out of her cage only for cleanings and on, only for, uh, uh, you know, cleanings basically. I know, I know, you're twitchy. You're real twitchy. Come on, come on, I know. This is unpleasant for both of us. Wait until I inject you. You know, you can see she doesn't want to leave her house. Oh, yes, this is, this is how we... Very, very close to reaching for her. Come on, come on. Come on this is why you're called a pogo stick. to come after me. This she just wants change. to get away. Yeah, well, she doesn't want to fight with me. I don't really want to fight with her either. You. <laughs> Peanut gallery banging on the glass down there. Well, is it uh, Captain Morgan time? I think so. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to clean up, and that's all of this fun for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> 